Hey everyone, it's Carmelia Ray, host and producer here for Breezeway Productions at Sundance Film Festival 2023 in Park City, Utah. We are covering all the carpets, all of the amazing new movies that are coming out. And stay tuned as we speak to the directors, producers, composers, and talent who are putting together all these amazing films for you guys to watch. Uh, is there anything you can tell me about the Princess Diary sequel? No. No. <laughs> uh, nothing? I can say how... Um, how thrilling it is to see the level of excitement for it. We feel the exact same, and I know it's probably very frustrating, and I'm going to say that. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a process that requires patience, and uh, so everybody should consider themselves a part of the movie business now, because this is how long it actually takes to make things. There's a lot of, they said that this was a struggle, a difficult movie with, between the women. Uh, oh no, it was a cross between Reservoir Dogs and Carol. Sorry, that was my question. Yes. Someone, you, someone said you said it was a cross between Reservoir Dogs and Carol. I did Which say that. Like Reservoir Dogs or Carol? <laughs> I think they go beautifully together. Um, they're both they're two films that I love, and I, I'd never thought to combine them until I read this script. And then we were in Thomas and Will, and I were in rehearsal, and we were just kind of try, I was just trying to figure out what the edges of it were because um, I didn't want to go too far. It's a fine line between, especially because I'm playing a character who is larger than life. You can very easily kind of tip it too far, and uh, and so we we're just trying to figure out what the tone was and what the what the comps were. Um, a comp is a comparable film. And I said, because I get the Carol part, but then it turns into, and I'm pretty sure it was Thomason who said Reservoir Dogs. It was either Thomason or Will. And then we saw it, and then it just kind of felt like something clicked into place. So you'll see it, and hopefully you'll, yes. you'll like that about it. You said the movie's difficult, or you played a difficult... Difficult character. Difficult yeah, character. complex. Complex, between the father and the daughter. Yes, that's uh, true. Can you share a little bit about that? What was so difficult I mean, and complex about it? Don't you, you know... Father-daughter relationships are, are difficult and complex in general, you know, and a lot of times I'm not sure you they're always told Accurately in film. I think we get this one, right? Great. Uh, and was it difficult for you to play a challenging role? Sure Yeah, when you when you see this film, you'll see what I mean. There was some scenes that were Really really tough, you know, so yeah, but I but I you know I love that challenge of playing these men that are you know Tough. I play Jimmy Dunlop, Eileen's father, Thomason's father, and and we, um, you know, we. This house is a is a somewhat suffocating situation for her, with with me, and um, you know, and we 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 come to a, a really to a I don't know interesting is not the word, but a, we come to a place. I hope at the end with some satisfaction, but it, to get there is. It's, it, it, it can be tough. Yeah. Is there anything you resonate at all with either your character or the storylines of the film? Um, I mean, Jim, Jim's a very, he's, he's, he's a long way away from me, I hope. <laughs> I mean, when you see him, yeah. you know, he's another one of these really difficult, you know, tough men that I love to try to figure out, yeah. you know? Uh, so, what was the most memorable moment you had from filming? Most memorable moment? Uh, just some of the some of the surprises that we had within the scenes, you know. Just I mean, it was freezing, it was bitter cold, and you know we and, and the humor. I was I was kind of shocked at how funny it is in places. And lastly, what do you hope audiences take away from this film? I hope they enjoy themselves at it. it. Just I hope they really they see that it's 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 dark and complex but I think ultimately it's very it's very satisfying for you have you did you have the opportunity to read the entire book before you directed this film absolutely yeah oh. I read it several times because of, you know I was I was working with Otessa and Luke on their adaptation wonderful what, what are they like as a couple beautiful they're wonderful they become very good friends and uh, I understand there's a little bit of adaptation to the novel um, can you share a little bit about that is it a bit of a twist tell me more yes well, it's very, fairly faithful, I would say, because Otessa was adapting her own book. She was not only able to sort of understand which bit she needed from the book, but also she was able to bring a whole uh, new, new element to, to, the, to the screenplay because she understood the world so well. Right. And there are a lot of strong females. Have you ever worked with that many women in one project? This is the most, but I'm looking forward to working with even more. Well, there are a lot of female leads, a female producer, a female writer. Tell me um, how it feels to be part of a project with so many powerful women. 
you know, one of the best things about it is that at a certain point you forget and you just sort of realize like, oh wow, at some point you go, you know, when, I, when I've worked on sets that are male dominated, this also can be great, depending on, you know, it's not necessarily just better one way or the other, but there are certain ways in which you just find yourself opening up, especially when it comes to certain topics maybe that come up in the movie, um, that you maybe realize, oh, there might not have been as much possibility to discuss that in quite the way that we did. And that's one of the coolest things about it. It just opens up different conversations that might not have happened in the same way. And to have that possibility alive, that's what we want. We, we, we just want more possibility more conversation, more openness, because you know that then when women see the movie, yes. they'll see more truth in it, yes. they'll see themselves more deeply yeah. in it, because those things will be exposed in the movie. That's the hope, you know. I understand that you both wrote this project in the middle of the pandemic. Tell, tell me a little bit about the, the bumps in the road there. How did, you, how did you decide who did the domestic duties and who did the writing? Oh my god. Well, I did the domestic duties. Did you? Uh, yeah, he's, he, yeah, I have to say, he took over a lot. But the really crazy thing about our writing process in terms of, uh, you know, the technical, where we were and, and what happened was that we, actually, we went up to Oregon and wrote, like, a first draft and then had to drive out because there were forest fires and it's just, like, this very intense... Um, sort of disastrous situation. Yeah, a few bumps in the road, as you said. Yeah.